A very good morning to all. So in the previous class, we learned about the famous explorers. The names are Bartholomew Dias and Ferdinand Magellan. And in this class, we will be discussing about Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama. First, we will discuss about Christopher Columbus. So, he was an Italian and he was born in Genoa, which is now part of Italy in the year 1451. So, he was an Italian navigator. So, navigator are the persons who direct the ship or who plan the direction of the ship. So, he was an Italian navigator and his main aim was to find a sea route to reach the Asian countries for trading purpose. So, for this, a special map was sent to Christopher Columbus by an astronomer and his name was Pozo Toscanelli. So, this person is an astronomer. So, astronomers are those persons who study about space. So, a special map was sent to Christopher Columbus by Posco Toscanali. So, this map consists of idea that moving towards the west, that is crossing the Atlantic Ocean, they will reach the Asian countries. So, with the help of this map, Christopher Columbus wanted to sail towards the westward direction, that is by crossing Atlantic Ocean to reach the Asian countries. So, first Christopher Columbus went to King John II of Portugal asking him to help him by providing three ships to start the voyage. Now, voyage is a long journey which involves traveling through sea or space. So, first he asked help of King John II of Portugal for making a voyage. But he refused. So, in the year 1492, with the help of King Ferdinand II and Queen Elizabeth I of Spain, Columbus started his journey with three ships and 90 crew. So, the name of the ships are the Nina, the Pinta and Santa Maria. So, with the help of these three ships, he started his journey under the approval of King Ferdinand II and Queen Elizabeth I of Spain. And he started to move towards the westward direction. So, here he started his journey from Lisbon port and he moved towards the westward direction that is crossing the Atlantic Ocean. After three weeks, he and his crew found some islands which is known as the present day islands of Caribbean and they thought that they reached the outlying islands of Asia. So, here you can see the four voyages made by Christopher Columbus which are mentioned in four different colors. Altogether, Christopher Columbus made four voyages which you can see here in this map. They are given in four different colors and here he visited few places like Cuba, Haiti, explored the islands of Caribbean Sea, coast of Central America and a part of the northern coast of South America. So, these places were visited by Christopher Columbus. So, we have already discussed that his main aim was to find a sea route to the Asian countries, but he was failed to discover it. Instead, he discovered the new world that is the Americas, North America and the South America. So, this was about Christopher Columbus exploration. Now, next famous explorer is Vasco da Gama. Now, he is the famous Portuguese explorer and navigator. He was born in Saints, Portugal in the year 1460. Now, he was the first person to sail directly from Europe to India through the Cape of Good Hope which was discovered by Bartholomew Dias. Now, he started his journey from Lisbon. So, here you can see Lisbon. He started his journey from Lisbon on 8th July 1497 with four ships and 170 crew. So, 
Vasco da Gama's trip to India. It consisted of various stops in Africa. And he also faced many problems from Muslim traders who did not want any interference in their profitable trade route. But anyhow, he was successful in reaching India. He reached Calicut, which is now in Kori Kod, in the year 1498. And it is located on the Malabar coast of India. Now, at first, Vasco da Gama and his trading was welcomed in India. But it lasted for a very short while because the Indians asked Vasco da Gama to pay tax. And now this spoiled the relation between Vasco da Gama and the Indians. And Vasco da Gama left Calicut in the month of August 1498. And he returned to Portugal with large quantity of cargo. So the king was very happy and he was welcomed like a hero. And he was rewarded by the king. And he was given the title of Admiral of India on the 12th of February 1502. Now after this, Vasco da Gama made two more expeditions to India in the year 1502 and 1524. In this year, that is 1524, on the eve of Christmas, Vasco da Gama died because he was suffering from malaria. And the state of Goa and the city of Cochin, you can see the cultural heritage or the cultural influence of Portuguese who landed as a trader and conquered these lands. So this was about Vasco da Gama, the great explorer. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.